on sailing Catalpa. We had some beautiful days out on the reef. So we're just leaving um, wherever we are on the reef. Just going somewhere that's about 35 nautical miles away. I'm up the mast just to make sure that there's um, we don't hit any bombies. The sun's not real high yet, so it's a bit hard, but I think it's high tide, so we'll see how we go. So we've left the channel that we were anchored in last night. We left pretty early because there was strong racing current through the middle. And we are heading to Henderson's Reefs today, which is in a marine zone, a green zone. So we aren't allowed to fish in there. So it'll pretty much be just go in there, have a look at, um, have a bit of a dive. And then we're gonna head off again tomorrow to another reef. But Got another beautiful day, but there's no wind, so we're motoring again. But it's not very far, it's about 15 nautical miles, so maybe three hours. But it's pretty nice. Pretty nice, it's bloody beautiful. Look at it. We're in the middle of the ocean, and it's like a pancake. And it's one of the seven wonders of the world. Oh, great barrier reef. If you haven't ever been to the Great Barrier Reef, folks, make sure you get there before you die. Look at that there. Scrub a dub dub. A little bit of a... There's a man in the tub. Oh, it's glassy, like a milk pond. So we just tried to go into our uh, spot that we were planning on going, but there was a racing current or racing, it was actually kind of weird, it was all whirly whirlies everywhere. And we're going to the second spot that we thought we should go, and uh, we'll check that out. It's glassy though, Captain. It's glassy, but lots of current. Lots of current everywhere, but we're going with it at the moment, we're doing yeah. like five or six knots, just idling. See it rest, spilling off the shallows here. Mm -hmm. They look like they've stopped at some bit of action in the water. St. Anne was a little bit up there. You can see the water spilling off of the edge up into deeper yeah, water it's up like there. It's almost like waves. In there. A little bit stirred up with something in there. It's all that movement in the water. Um, we better look getting you up, sweetie. This is looking dicey. You what? Get you back up and have a look. This is coming into a funny area here. Can you hear that? i got to go back up the mast. That's where I've got to go sit up there. A gentle wind is blowing. Oh yeah. The sun is shining down. All the riches of the earth, the sweet, sweet earth, are here in happy town. Oh yeah, the pretty birds are singing, winging through the air, bringing to the people lots of joy to share. Oh yeah, children of this great land, all sisters, all brothers. We've arrived at our destination for the night. It's absolutely amazing. No one around. And there's heaps of little sharks coming up with yeah, having our lunch and kids are just throwing some food over and they keep coming in. Who's this? They're yeah. just coming in for my fish I just threw in. Uh, there's a bit of a uh, sandy island over here on low tide, so we're going to go check that out. I think. Let's go. And it's so hot, so warm and still, and oh, it's unbelievable, magical. So it was a bit sketchy coming in. It was all unsurveyed, so I was up the mast, 
And we had no idea what was in here, but we've gone in here and we're stoked we did. It's beautiful. You got to ever bring. Got to have a dream. If you keep reaching for the stars, you'll never come up with a handful of sand. I heard it from a wise, wise man. You got to have a dream. Your dream will change your heart, your heart will change the world you live in. Thus spoke the wise man. A man's not just a man, a man's got a soul Got to have a dream to make him feel whole Whoa, yeah, yeah I heard it from a wise man Thus spoke the wise man Dream on, dreamer, dream on, dreamer, dreamer, dream on One day, a day will surely come Dream on, dreamer, dream on, dreamer, dreamer, dream on This old world, it ain't nothing but a dream At the end of this dive, we had a whole heap of sharks circling us, so we decided to sit on the bottom and watch them. It was really cool watching these beautiful reef sharks surrounding us. And he had a dream Before those men was done The whole world was changed That's the beauty of a dream So we've just left Henderson's Reef uh, where we stayed last night. We had a really cool dive yesterday afternoon and a nice little swim around and um, we left this morning about 7.30 and we're heading to Square Reef or an island. So it depends if the wind comes up a little bit we'll keep going and get to the island which is a little bit further away but um, at this point I think we're going to Square Reef. We tried to video this morning and our cameras died. <laughs> so our video camera that we use all the time has finally conked it. We had um yeah, it was starting to wig out a little bit, but it's it won't even turn on this morning. So that's a bit sad. Anyway, we'll try and film as much as we can on our GoPro. Uh, hopefully you can hear everything okay. And then we will be at Port in Townsville, so uh, we'll have to get a new camera. Well, I guess we're going four and a half knots, motoring, we've got the sail up. Wind is supposed to be around 10 knots, nor'east 10 knots, so uh, we'll see how we go. Yeah, but we've been in a marine reserve yesterday and there was heaps of sharks around, heaps of fish. It was really cool to see heaps of turtles. So it was nice to, to see those spots because they're alive. And uh, we're going to head somewhere where we can fish now because we're nearly out of fish to eat. So the next spot looks like a bit of a lagoon to get into. That's enough babbling. You got anything to say? No, uh, you babbled it all. Babbled it all. <laughs> all right, so we just came into fishing zone and Lee had his rod out for how long? Uh, 20 seconds. 20 seconds? I just put the brake on and went to put the other rod out and um, it just went boom, straight on. He's on. 
What do you reckon it is? I have to be a Spanish, like it surely in this Just water. Just that about everything. No, no, we haven't got one yet, and we're getting into those real Spanishy waters. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What is that, Spanish? That's a, tuna. That's a tuna. It's a northern bluefin. Oh, sashimi. Dinner. We got dinner. It's hard to run out of fish because we're in a green zone and we couldn't fish. So we're at Turner. It's not as nice as our yellow tail, but. Well, I might be you've let it now. Yeah. They're just a little bit more gamey. The first couple of days will be nice, but. Sashimi's where it's at. We're fussy, though. We are fussy. You've let it properly this time. Yeah, I've led behind the petrol bins, grained it, and let it so. Chopping up the bait. What are we going to catch? A uh, spangled emperor. Oh, I wouldn't mind a red emperor. Red roof emperor. Coal trout. Good job, Bob. Been into square reef which I don't know why it's called square reef because it doesn't look like a square. Whenever mum is up the front or up the mast, dad and mum use walkie talkies to talk to each other. So we made it to square reef. Uh, so this is square reef. Do you think it looks like a square? So after putting the anchor down, we went for a little explore and found this public pontoon. We could have pulled up to her, but it was very stinky of bird poo, so we decided not to. No, they're just little um, little fish hanging off him. He's got like a reef with him, a reef of fish. <laughs> He's or a is monster. That seaweed? He's no, they're little yellow fish. Whatever they are. Oh, get Mummy is hopping in the water with this big thing. He is humongous. Oh, watch this, aren't you ready? <laughs> Meet Jeff and Jenny. These two gropers that decided to make Catalpa its home while we were at Square Reef were really, really friendly. We thought that they'd probably been hand fed before. So we decided to check them out and get in the water. They didn't want to come too close when I was free diving. Um, so we decided to put on our scuba gear and hop in and have a scuba dive. Again, they were a little bit shy, but it was really cool to see them under the water. Time to check out the rest of this place underwater. Cool little nudie bank. There was lots of healthy coral and fish life. And this friendly little red emperor. Matt even caught us a cray. Thanks, Matt. We had another go at feeding the groper with the cray's head. He wasn't interested until we let go and it floated down pretty deep. So we've left Square Reef this morning. Uh, we were going to go to an island out on the reef, but we got the weather come through and the wind is going to pick up. So we've decided to go into, where are we going, Belle? Hasselwood Island. And um, so right outside the Whitsundays. 
or right next to Whitsunday, what, Sunday Island in Queensland, Australia. So we were going to uh, avoid the whole the whole Whit Sundays, but we've um, fate has it. We had some absolutely beautiful weather out in the reef, and we thought we won't push it and stay out there while it, the wind picks up. We'll come in and uh, check out a couple of islands, and then we're going to gun it north to Townsville. So we've got some good wind this morning. What's the winds doing, baby? Oh, 10 to 15 from the south, south, east, south, east. So 10 to 15 knots, south, east, east, south, east. A bit more south. A bit more south. They're just going to put that out there to the windy gods. A bit more south, please. Just put it on the beam. So we've got about 37 nautical miles today, so not far. And then we're in close to the land, which we should get internet reception so I can load a video onto YouTube for you guys and uh, we might load a few actually because it's been about a week and a half since since we uploaded and that's about it So join us next time as we head to Hasselwood Island in the Whit Sundays. I'm Taj and I'm Bella from Sailing Catalpa. So that was episode 40. Thanks for watching. See you later. Don't forget to put a thumbs up or a comment down below. See you next time. See you later. <laughs>